All right, hey everyone, welcome to svgcuts.com slash blog. And in this video, we're gonna discuss the most recent updates to Shirt Cuts A Lot, and that's gonna include updates 2.007 through version 2.010, okay? The first thing I'm gonna discuss is the updates that were included in 2.007. And the first one includes the ability to handle the new Scal Lib It Up files from Scal Lib It Up 2. Okay, now I've discussed Scal Lib It Up in a previous video, so we're not really going to get into the details on that other than to tell you that Scal Lib It Up 2, you can now open those files with this current version of, of Sure Cuts A Lot. Okay, so in addition to that, in version 2.007, they've added rotate buttons. Okay, now what I mean by that is I'm going to go ahead and just bring up a basic shape. I'm going to put a heart on my mat, and you'll notice that when you have your object highlighted, you can go over here, and there's buttons that will allow you to rotate your object at a 45 degree increment, okay? Whether it be clockwise or counterclockwise, you can rotate it at 45 degrees. You still have the option to rotate it manually, but now you've got these snazzy buttons here, okay? So in addition to that, there's also a option that allows you to temporarily load fonts okay now before we had to take our fonts download them from the internet and put them into the font folder in order for sure cuts a lot to recognize them well now you don't have to overburden your system anymore you can just create a folder with your favorite fonts keep them away from the system so that all of your programs have to use it you can just use them just for scale and, and I'll show you how that works I'm gonna delete my heart and I'm gonna click on my text tool or type tool and you'll see this button here you can click on it okay and now I already have a font that I downloaded from a website okay it's in this folder and here it is you can tell it's a font because it's got the true type icon there okay and I can double click on it and there it goes and, and Sure Cuts a Lot says the font has been loaded into Sure Cuts a Lot and can now be selected from the list of fonts. Please note the font will automatically be unloaded when you quit Sure Cuts a Lot. So that's a great feature. That way, you know, for, for someone that has 100 or 200 fonts and you don't want them running, you know, with all of your programs, because it does slow down your system a little bit and, and considerably, uh, depending on how old or new your system is. So this is a real benefit. Now, if I hit OK, I can go under this drop down here and there's my new font it's called evil of Frankenstein I can click on it type on my mat and it's ready to go okay now version 2.008 and not to not to get you confused version 2.007 and 2.008 are included in the update to 2.010 which we'll discuss here in just a moment okay but in 2.008 the first thing I want to show you is when you have your type tool selected and you click on the font drop down list, you can actually type the first letter of the font to drop down the list. Okay, so let's say I want to select uh, Palatino Linotype. I'm going to type the letter P and it drops down in the menu there. Okay, so it, it helps you navigate that a little bit quicker um, and you can, you know, begin um, looking at the fonts based on the first letter of the font name. Okay, so it's just something minor, but it is helpful and, and it will be time saving. Okay, now in addition to that, uh, Surecuts Lot version 2.008 has a preview option. Now, if I go to File and I hit Import SVG, I'm going to go to my desktop. I have a free SVG file from our blog here. Okay, now you notice if I highlight it, it actually shows up here in this little display box. Okay, now that's also another benefit. Now, some of you have. Uh, Windows XP and Windows Vista and you have the thumbnail program so you may not find this useful but I still think it's a great uh, little benefit to, to have that on there. In addition to being able to see SVG files you can also see SCUT files now. Okay so if I go to file and hit open project I can go on my desktop and I already have a SCUT file that I've created. If you highlight it you can see a preview of it here 
This preview option is only going to work with SCUT files that you've created using this latest version. So let's say for example you have a SCUT file that you created back when you had version 2.005 or 2.006. Well, they will not preview. Okay, You will not be able to see the preview unless you open it and save it again in the new version. Okay. So that pretty much wraps up version 2.008. Now let's talk about the newest version, 2.010. This has some really groundbreaking stuff. Okay, first thing I want to uh, talk about is just really simple. Under the libraries, you've got two new libraries. You've got a beach library and a newborn library. And libraries are just simple shapes that you can access real quick. Okay, like that one, you've got a rattle and a bear and a stork and a star and a onesie. Um, so that's definitely a bonus. All right, and now let's talk about some of the major updates in version 2.010. The first is a node editing tool, okay? And now you'll notice under the tool menu here, you've got a couple new options. You've got the shape tool and you've got the draw tool. Okay, if I take this flower and I click on the shape tool, You'll notice that when I click here, all of a sudden you've got all these little little uh, handles here, okay? And these are nodes. These are actual dots. So if you look at this whole process of cutting your files out on a Cricut and using your sure cuts a lot as almost like a connect the dots type of thing, where the blade will connect one dot to the next dot, these are the dots or the nodes that basically are the middle points between each cut, okay? So you can literally now, you can take them and you can manipulate them, okay? We're going to discuss this in more detail in a separate video, but I just wanted to show you that you have this new ability now. Okay, so in addition to that, we now have this new tool. It's called the Draw Tool. If I click on it, I can actually draw my own shapes on the mat, okay? And you can either connect the dots here and make simple shapes, or if you click and you hold it, Okay, you get these little handles that allow you to create rounded edges, okay? So I, I'm not sure what I'm drawing here, but I'm just showing you that you have the ability to do a lot of cool new stuff with this drawing tool.